Hello guys, this is the one of the question from uh, queuing model or the waiting line theory. So uh, already we are seeing some of the questions from queuing line or waiting line theory. Now this is the uh, question, a self-service tour employees, a self-service tour employees, one cashier at its counter so it is mentioned as one cashier that means it is a single window system so nine customers arrive on an average every five minutes that means nine customers are coming nine customers are coming on an average every five minutes that means for every five minutes nine customers are approaching that store while the cashier can serve 10 customers in five minutes so this is their service uh, by that cashier so cashier can serve, serve 10 customers in 5 minutes 10 customers in 5 minutes so arrival is 9 customers in 5 minutes and the serve, serving is 10 customers in 5 minutes okay so whatever the required data has been given and the questions are like this okay so let's see the first of all uh, what is the key one Okay, so already as per our discussion, uh, we know that whenever there is a problem from a cubing system, whenever there is a problem from a cubing system, so that time always we will have to go for two input, uh, two inputs that are required to calculate all the required things. Okay, so first requirement is the arrival rate. First requirement is arrival rate which has been specified by lambda and second requirement is service rate okay second requirement is service rate which has it can be given by mu okay so once we will get these two parameters it is easy to calculate any type of question uh, based on this data okay so let's consider one by one now uh, first of all it has been uh, given it has been given that uh, nine customers nine customers arrive on every five minutes so the, the nine customers are coming in a five minutes nine customers are coming in a five minutes okay so directly now arrival rate is given because arrival rate we know that whenever arrival rate is there it is per minute or per hour that means per time so arrival rate arrival rate of customer that is lambda has been given as nine customers per five minutes so nine customers per five minute okay so it can be generalized as when you will divide this you can get 1.8 customers per minute okay so per minute there are 1.8 customers so this is the value of lambda so we'll write here so lambda is equal to 1.8 customers per minute 1.8 customers per minute okay so this is given as arrival rate okay so uh, every time it is not required that arrival rate is given directly sometimes the inter arrival rate has also given okay so inter arrival rate if we are to specify same arrival rate into inter arrival rate it is nothing but five minutes for nine customer so this can be given like this five minutes for nine customer okay so it is just a reciprocal of each other okay now now the second thing that has been given is cashier can serve cashier can serve 10 customers cashier can serve 10 customers in 5 minutes 10 customers in 5 minutes okay 10 customers in 5 minutes okay so we can write like this service service rate by cashier okay service rate by cashier that is mu equal to 10 customers in 5 minutes okay so cashier can serve 10 customers in 5 minutes okay so it can be written as 2 customers 2 customers per minute 
two customers per minute okay so this will get as a service rate okay so mu equal to two customers two customers per minute okay so two things we have got arrival rate lambda service rate mu okay so uh, these are the only two things as specified earlier so we required only lambda and only mu remaining things can be calculated easily because each and every formula or each and every parameter is having only these two things only mathematical operations are different mathematical operations are different okay so now the first thing that has been asked first thing that has been asked is average number of customers in the system okay so average number of customers in system average number of customers in the system so this can be written as in ls l stands for length of the system or average number of customers in system s stands for system okay so uh, average number of customers in a system the formula is very simple it is it is lambda upon mu minus lambda so arrival rate divided by service rate minus arrival rate okay so this is the simple thing so arrival rate is given as 1.8 divided by service rate is 2 minus arrival rate is 1.8 okay so it is 1.8 divided by 0.2 that is nothing but 9 customers 9 customers okay so there are average 9 customers in a system this is what first questions that has been asked okay so now second is average number of customers in queue okay same thing but slightly different average number of customers in queue okay so it is written as lq l suffix q in system ls in q lq okay so this is or this can be easily write like this so look here we know the number of customers in a system we know the number of customers in a system that is 9 we want in a queue so what is basic difference between queue and system right so system will include this queue plus those customers who are at simply we can say at the counter or at the service station means waiting plus those who are getting service this is called as a system this is called as a system so if we want the queue then from the system we have to subtract this those persons or those customers who are at the counter or who are now currently getting the service okay who are now currently getting the service okay so if we will reduce that particular customer easily we can get the number of customers in a queue number of customers in a queue okay so we know the number of customers in a system that is ls ls minus number of customers at the service station or the service facility that is nothing but the traffic density or the lambda by mu okay so these are the lambda by mu is the thing but those who are at the service station or the service facility so lambda by mu okay so ls minus lambda by mu okay you can put this formula here also and uh, we can merge it or else already we know the value so we can put it easily ls is nothing but the 9 minus lambda is 1.8 divided by mu is 2 divided by mu is 2 okay so it will come out as 9 minus 8.1 sorry 9 minus 0 0.0 0 0.9 so it will be 8.1 customers 8.1 customers okay 8.1 customers okay so now it is close to 8 so we can approximately write equal to close to 8 or uh, nine also but uh, sometimes uh, if, you, if you can put this value as it is that will be again no issue okay? 8.1 customers approximately equal to nine okay? because it is more than eight because it is more than eight okay 
so then there is a third uh, question that has been asked see though you will feel here is that average number of customers in a system also 9 and in a queue also 9 ok but it is not like that actually it is 8.1 it means 8 customers are there in a queue and one customer is there in a queue for only 10% of time this one stands for only 10% of strength and for remaining time it will he will be at service station ok so that is the meaning of it ok so third third question is average time the customer spends in the system ok so it has been asked average time the customer spend in system ok so it is system so W stands for time and S stands for system. If it is in a queue, it will be a W queue. Okay. So average time in a system, a very very simple formula. So it is 1 divided by mu minus lambda. 1 divided by mu minus lambda. Okay. If you want to calculate in a queue, then just multiply this with lambda by lambda by mu. Okay. So you can easily get it. Okay. So now we put the value so 1 divided by value of mu is 2 value of lambda is 1.8 so it will come out as 1 by 0 0.2 0 0.2 it is nothing but 5 minutes 5 minutes ok so average waiting time that has been spent by customer in system is 5 minutes ok so our required answers are average numbers of customers in a system are 9 average number of customers in a queue these are 8.1 or 9 and average waiting time in the system is, is the 5 minutes this is the 8.1 the 9 customers again i will repeat that whenever any problem will be there uh, from this topic of queuing system or waiting time only two things is required is the arrival rate that is lambda and the service rate that is mu okay that is sufficient to calculate each and every parameter of the given problem because each and every formula contains only these two parameters only these two parameters so every problem can be solved if we know this particular two parameters okay thank you Hopefully you might have enjoyed the lecture then please do like the video and know your thoughts in comments. Please do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. After subscription you can press the bell icon to never miss the notification regarding our new videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.